uh, let's call the meeting to order and let's have roll call. Agnes Vornarski, Chairperson. Present. Dana Syvertson, Present. Commissioner. <clears throat> Present. Ed Madden, Commissioner. Present. Pete Hahn, Commissioner. <clears throat> Here. I'm Jill Moscow, Commissioner. Uh, we are missing John Kamish and Seth Marcus, but a quorum is present. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And let's have approval of the minutes of the board meeting of November 9th. I make the motion that we approve the minutes is so beautifully crafted by Jill Moscow. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, minutes approved. And let's move on to old business, volunteer work days, which have been very heavily <clears throat> Volunteer work days are like off the charts. Um, this year, we logged in 3,374 hours and, uh, 20, and, uh, and a quarter. For 2023. For 2023. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the the first, 20, first work day of this year kicked off at 40 hours for that Sunday. Um, people are just coming out of the woodwork. Um, everybody wants to be outside. There's a great camaraderie. Everybody wants to, <coughs> to participate. So. Uh, we've never been in such a great position with volunteers. It's wonderful. Yeah. The next work day is probably going to be, what, either a repeat of Heron Pond or back at the slough, right? Right. Mm -hmm. One of those two. Yeah, we just had back-to-back -back work days <coughs> and everything else. So uh, <clears throat> next work day is not this Sunday, but the following Sunday. So it's very updated. Hey, any questions? No? Mm -hmm. The Public Library Park District events. Okay, the um, Nature Speaks. Uh, next speaker is uh, 222, um, February the 22nd. Uh, it is Kathleen Garness. Uh, she's uh, title of her presentation is Inspiring Young Artists Through Nature and um, uh, uh, con <coughs> Excuse me, I need water. <coughs> Conservation. Um, Kathleen is also going to be, uh, be taking the NRC gallery slot for this year. Um, and in February, uh, the entire month of February, she's going to be showing um, her show that's going to be called The Allure of Orchids. Um, just to remind everybody, she's a world-class uh, illustrator of botanical, all things botanical. And um, she does the field guides for the Field Museum, and um, she's really a top drawer. So looking forward to that. Um, the <clears throat> next um, uh, speaker we need to talk about, but it's later on in the agenda, so we'll just leave it for that. Okay. Any questions mm -hmm. about that? Comments? No. no. Okay. <clears throat> Project update status. So I guess we could go through individually and see if there's any updates. The common seeded prairie, not really anything to report. Heron Pine, we just recently had a work day. It was a very nice work day. We cleared a lot of uh, brush over there. Um, Hillcrest Lake Pollinator Park, uh, we seeded it yesterday actually because we we're supposed to get a lot of snow and then it's supposed to freeze. So we've been trying to put out all of our seed over the last few days <clears throat> and today. <laughs> we can't breathe because we've been yeah. <laughs> breathing <laughs> dust of <laughs> seed <laughs> all night <laughs> this afternoon. But um, <clears throat> Pollinator Park is fully seeded. Um, shoreline restoration. Just to mention that maybe we should do it a little bit earlier this year because we have all the plants ready, ready to go. <clears throat> yeah, and to that note, um, John was going to decide which one that was um, and get back to us, so. Next meeting we'll discuss yeah. it, but maybe a little bit earlier. I think we've been doing it in July and August, so it'd be good to do it in June just because of the plants. The plants are all ready for it. <clears throat> Um, nature preserve but before you move on uh, getting back to the nature speaker speaks mm -hmm. I could have sworn you said February 22nd mm -hmm. I'm seeing the first on the agenda the first is her show her oh. show oh, okay o opens the first the 22nd is the, the 22nd is her okay. talk correct her talk and then the again, just a reminder send me info for yeah the we'll publicity. do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay make a note of that uh, <clears throat> Marava, we did have a work day, I believe, two work days ago, and it's looking pretty good. Uh, Remnant Prairie, we have not scheduled a work day, maybe in the springtime. Remnant Sedge Meadow, um, possibility in April, but we'll talk about that when we move down and further on in the agenda <clears throat> with the Sierra Club. Um, St. Al's, uh, we plan on putting down a little seed today after the <laughs> meeting. <laughs> 
Uh, and the slough I'm going to seed in the morning while it's snowing. And Tully Park. I don't know about Tully Park, but I think everything's pretty much mm -hmm. the same as it was we talked about last time. Uh, seed greenhouse update. All the seeds are almost out to be underneath the snow. I'll, I'll work on it tonight still before the heavy snow. And then we'll be putting the seeds in again um, end of February, first week of March. Right, and thanks to Mary and Spencer again for all their effort on the greenhouse. It is up and running, and so it's ready to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, education updates. Wheeling High School has asked us to make a visit uh, soon to do a presentation. She, um, yeah, I don't know. Usually Seth does that, and then John helps, and they're out of town. Mm -hmm. We'll try to schedule it with them. We'll try to speak with them to see if they could come and do that. Otherwise, it'll be Dana and I, I think, if anybody else wants to. But it's usually just an in-class 35-minute presentation to the new students. Right. They also want to schedule their visits um, for this year as well. Mm -hmm. For the spring. They come in field trips with buses <coughs> to visit the SLU and to discuss ecological management and restoration and it's usually it's the uh, environmental sciences class. MacArthur Middle School, if you want to mention anything about that. Yeah, MacArthur Middle School uh, was, uh, we just held our event with them. Um, we had, uh, what, nine volunteers mm -hmm. um, uh, join us uh, to go in class. Um, we gave a lecture to the kids. They mixed their own seed. Uh, we went out and seeded the um, dry prairie, and then we went out with a different batch and seeded the wet prairie. Uh, it was really, the kids were just really charged up. Um, it was a great time, and thanks to the volunteers that went. Yeah. Really good. And these seeds were seeds that they collected themselves. Actually, Correct. they collected more seeds than they put out, so mm -hmm. <laughs> we got the bulk of the seeds that they collected for us, mm -hmm. and we gave them back a little bit to put into their prairie. Yeah, those seeds were collected over the summer um, mm -hmm. uh, at when we did the uh, seed collection and seed processing for the two groups of 80 each. Yeah. Is there a child labor laws? We should <laughs> <laughs> they loved it. They, they love it. And um, Stephanie Ritter is just a wonderful science teacher and in, very engaging of them. And it's really great to work with them. Um, District 214 internships. Uh, we forget the name of the person, Dana. But um, she reached out to us that there are students Kathy interested. Kathy Wick. Yes. She, yes, that's right, Kathy Wick. She reached out to us that there are students interested. I think she mentioned three, possibly more than that. Correct. She was ask, so, also asking about doing summer internships, which uh, Agnes has said no to. Uh, just, based on the experience of last year, it just was a little bit spread. It was just thin. a little bit too much. I mean, I unless so, I mean, somebody else <clears> would pick up, but it's yeah. too much to have the summer regular interns and the summer high school interns, and then you know I still work full time, so it was a little bit too much. I mean, it's doable. It's just mm, it's too much. It's, it's a little too much. Time. So so uh, we'll spring be, and fall we'll is do fine. It spring and fall. Yeah, and and it's perfect because spring and fall, and they do do a little bit of work and education, so it's great. Mm -hmm. Also, probably no more than four, because then it gets a little. Any. Questions? Anything else? Mm -hmm. uh, prescribed burns. All the uh, prescribed burns, the balance of those uh, burns are going to be pushed to spring, so nothing until March. Mm -hmm. We'll probably discuss it at our next meeting in February mm -hmm. about availability and. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what did we burn in the fall? We tried to burn the slough. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to burn, burn everything. <laughs> no, no, we tried to burn <clears throat> it. Yeah. Even the brush pile burns uh, at the work days have just been uh, unbelievable effort to get them going. So. Spring is always better. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Eagle Scout project updates. Continuous reporting. Yes, moving on to continuous reporting. <clears throat> Eagle Scout project updates. I don't think we have any Eagle Scout projects. No, it just um, I've just carved out the time to start that process. So um, I'll be talking to uh, Chief Cog um, of Police soon about uh, the side yard there, and then I want to go back and have additional conversations with Mark. So can you repeat that, please? I didn't quite hear you. 
What's that? So I, he's talking about the sites that were right. Oh, the, the sites, yeah. The sites yeah. for the Eagle Scout projects. Right. And who are you going to talk to? Uh, Chief Capernegro oh, and that's what um, I thought you said. to um, Mark Roscoe. Got it. Mm -hmm. To discuss possible sites for this 2020. Well, I want to make sure that we have conversations with the right people first. So right. and that <laughs> I'm looking to define that. <laughs> and then make sure that, that everybody's interested and have a plan moving forward, and mm -hmm. which we would probably present at our next meeting if that happens, that meeting or, or March meeting. Adopt a trail update. Um, so far, we have Spencer and Mary um, taking the South Boardwalk. Um, Jill is working at Tully Park. John is taking from the South Boardwalk to the River Oats at the Slough. And I will be taking the lower section of um, the Nature Preserve. Um, there'll be an article about uh, the uh, program again in uh, the next journal that goes out. Uh, so I look for, you know, uh, more people participating there as well. Right now it's working really well. So. And I did mention to Pete, you know, that I would, because I have more time now to go over to Gary Morava and check things out okay. in addition okay. to his eagle eye. Okay. Um, all right. Moving on is the NRC budget and treasurer's report. John is usually on top of this. Uh, he's not here today. But we do have the budget. Um, there's a, Peter, I have a couple of questions for you. Um, this was printed out right before. Okay. Right before. Okay. Okay. Um, that was the question, I think. Yeah, the question is um, there are two donations that are missing, and one so that I didn't. About, it was printed before the donation. Oh, I see. Because John didn't call me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like he normally does. Oh. Yeah. I didn't update him. All right, I've got so, it. Then I'm like, oh, NRC, I just printed out this is last, the last time. Right. Okay. So, Perfect. So, thank thank you, you, Peter. That's great. Yeah. So I'll update it and I'll set it up. All right. Great. Thank great. you. So, <clears throat> and because we did receive two more donations um, in the amount of, I, I'll just mention. Yeah, the Christmas uh, the donations that came in was uh, $1,500 from the Hinman Foundation, the, their annual giving. And um, artist uh, Kate Tully and Andy Fajoli. Uh, contributed five hundred dollars, which was just outstanding. Bravo! So that money will then <clears throat> go. Uh, there's a list of uh, of loppers and supplies that we need. Because we there's also need some additional aquatic plants that need to be purchased uh, for the shoreline restoration. So because we could, yeah, because all of those funds that were received in 2023, as I understand, need to be expended by April of 2024. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we still have a balance of fifty-three hundred. Right. There, there are a lot of supplies that we need, though. All of our loppers, I mean, some of them are broken, like, in yeah. half. <laughs> or some catch fire, like... Yeah, I, yeah they're, they're old. We, I mean, we've been... We've no, been... I threw it into the brush pile yeah. with my brush. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, we sharpen them all the time. We take care of them, but they get a lot of use. Like, they get a lot of use, really. Oh, I mean, yeah. three hours, you know, every other week. And so we keep adding a few every year a few here you know maybe three maybe five but it's we need we need loppers desperately and some uh bow saws and gloves uh we've been washing a lot of the gloves but they're really yeah. sort of they're just used up and they have holes in them and we really need gloves especially with the more volunteers that we have i mean we just need things so we need a lot of supplies and then of course we'll look at everything else and probably at the next meeting we'll have a whole list so that we can discuss it and then approve expending those funds from our budget okay all right uh christmas donations oh you just mentioned that park district uh budget funding status jill, can jill you maybe? uh the prospect heights park district budget will be approved at their Feb uh, january 23rd meeting and i did email christina and she confirmed funding um for this year of $7,500, and then it was, one moment, for summer camp. Oh, she didn't give me a figure for summer camp, but we do get uh, some money for that too. So mm -hmm. very, very appreciative of their support. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'll yep. see. Mm -hmm. And then City of Prospect Heights budget request. Uh, Peter, when does our um, budget request have to be in? Uh, I would target end of February. Okay. Make sure you have everything, so uh, start working on it now, and hopefully you can go 
vote on something in February's meeting. Uh, better to have it a little bit sooner than later. Yeah, okay. Um, we, uh, the uh, finance just uh, put together the uh, the budget calendar. I don't have it offhand, so I can't okay, write sorry. it. So All right. I, I'd rather have you guys be pretty pretty much set in February, by the end of February, and then be able to go into March and maybe tweak some things, then right. vice versa. So. Okay. So our next meeting is very going to be very packed full of yeah. things to talk about. Um, okay. And then speaking about well, it's, I think lower down in the agenda, civic city meeting. yeah, civ civic meetings and <coughs> generosity representation. So I provided minutes from city council and park district board meetings of November and December. The only thing is a reminder to our public that the zoning board. Uh, we'll have their January meeting on January 24th, 7 p.m. City Hall uh, Council Chambers uh, to discuss chickens. It is a public meeting, not a public hearing, and it's just gathering information because they are planning to issue an ordinance or ordinances on the topic. Okay. All right, then let's move on to new initiatives. The Summer Conservation Restoration Talk from PHNRC at the library. Okay, so this is where I wanted to talk about um, <clears throat> uh, the Nature Speaks and this talk. Um, Terry Campbell, before she left, um, uh, their, their um, reading program this year is thematically based on conservation and restoration. And she thought it would be a really terrific idea for the commissioners to repeat um, our talk of what I think what 2015 on and with an updated version of, of everything that we've done and all the changes that have happened to Prospect Heights as a result. Um, the um, Earth Day uh, slot, speaker slot, um, was fixed by um, um, Olivia. Olivia, who is Terry's replacement as uh, the 20, uh, it's in the week of the, of, of the 22nd to mm -hmm. 26th. I think it was the 23rd or 4th. Um, <clears throat> I had originally uh, approached Laura Richter, but she's um, absolutely uh, not available. And so one of the things I was thinking of is rather than do that commissioners talk in the summer, maybe we plug it into the Earth Day and do it at that point in time. So if, if anybody has any objection to that, um, I, what I'd like to do is run it by the library and make that suggestion. And then uh, if they if they say great, then we'll, we'll go with that. Even more appropriate. Yeah, I think it would be more appropriate yeah. too. And it could be a, um, um, a runner up to the program. Mm -hmm. So telling them in April and then get everybody interested so they're, they will be on time because mm -hmm. they do have to register for that program. How many hours are we talking about? Like an hour, an hour and a half for the presentation? It's a, it's a one hour talk and then one questions hour? for 30 minutes. Okay. It could be 45 minutes too, whatever. I like, loose. I like the idea. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll run that by the library and see what happens. <clears throat> yeah, you, Peter, okay with that? Yeah. 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 Sounds good. good. Okay. Great. Let's do that. PHNRC anniversary celebration. Believe it or not, <laughs> we're gonna be 10 years old. <laughs> it's really amazing. I was looking at um, the last commissioner that joined us was Seth Marcus in 2018. We have all been together that long, which is really crazy. I don't know if um, anybody else in the city ranks have been uh, maybe Tim Jones and um, uh, I don't know, Peter, do you know anybody else that's been here as long as we have? Well, we're a commission, so. As a, as, a as a commission. As a, as, yeah, as a group, or, I, Ludwigson's been here. Peter's that have been here, that have done, uh, on the PZA for 20 years. Yeah, been here. yeah, okay, all right, yeah. all right, cool. So we do have some longevity is the bottom <laughs> line, and, um, February 10th is the actual, uh, the date of, um, our anniversary at the 14th and um, John is looking to uh, marry that up with the Chili Fest this year for volunteers so 
And that'll be, of course, a presentation with slides and pictures and mm -hmm. all our volunteers. Okay. Okay. Uh, Earth Week, Sierra Club Work Day. All right. Earth Week is the April 22nd to 26th this year. Um, the Sierra Club, through our volunteer Dick um, uh, Dobson. Dobson, has approached us about doing a work day and a talk uh, for the Sierra Club, <clears throat> um, doing a work day with them uh, on Earth Day, or the, in this case, it would be the, the Sunday before. Um, and he's looking to have probably between 100 to 150 maybe volunteers for that wow. day. Wow. Yeah, it's um, big. The only place that we could accommodate that kind of even work think would, about it. Even think <laughs> about it was the um, Sedge Meadow. And okay. the Sedge Meadow could really benefit from that and clearing all that brush out of there. Mm -hmm. All the um, brush. Plus it has parking that we still have to discuss yeah. with. <clears throat> um, so we met with um, we met with uh, uh, Dick Dobson and uh, Barbara from Sierra Club, uh, showed them the site, talked about what would happen, um, how we'd go about doing it, and they really liked the idea. And so now the the process is going to be to just try to see what we can do to make that happen. Um, you all they're looking for idea. porta potties, <clears throat> um, uh, some kind of a lunch, and they have money they can contribute. Uh, we were going to reach out to ComEd and see if they would participate as well. I think First of all, we got to ask permission of ComEd to do it there. But. I, I think in this situation, because it's also in Wheeling, we should probably also have permission from the city of Wheeling, I guess. I mean, it's the park district right of way. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. So, yeah. And then the park district as well. We should reach out to the park district because it's their prop. I mean, it's their leased property mm -hmm. on, the, on the right of way. But it well, is technically in Wheeling. Just to make sure that all of the dots are, yeah. you know, every, that we definitely reach out to every single person that to sponsor such yeah, a yeah. big we event. Ask ComEd if they'd be willing to provide for the party. Yeah, that's yeah. what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to talk to Sarah Ray about. Well, it wouldn't that, be right? us, so it would be either the Sierra Club or. or oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So we we would just be providing the site and some, maybe some education. I mean, we have a couple of folding tables, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we would not be working it. Oh, we yeah we would. No, have we would regular, be doing it. it yes, would, absolutely. We'd schedule we, it as a we Earth, would, Earth Day <clears throat> work week. And uh -huh. we would definitely need help from our volunteers right. to lead those volunteers to lead those people because mm -hmm. our volunteers know what they're doing mm -hmm. to break up into groups. So we'd probably have to break up into groups of ten or twelve, and then yeah, we should our, map it all out. So, yeah, so a, we know. It's sort of a big deal. It is. That's a lot of people. I don't know if you think we shouldn't do it. Maybe I don't know. No, I think it's great. Yeah, I'm a just of, wondering if, if if Seth might want to favor doing the remnant prairie instead oh, of the Central. maybe. <laughs> but the parking is the issue, I think. You know, um, and the remnant prairie Crescent for sure. Park, yeah. uh, the, at Crescent Paper there, our yeah. guy over there, Martin. Um, we can park on the weekends, and this is a good, weekend good. thing. So it would okay. be a Sunday. They, they could park a thousand yeah. cars over there easily. The remnant prairie would be I a know. problem. Yeah, yeah, right. You could not park there problem. at all. You couldn't get people over yeah. there. That's that's the issue too. And um, I mean, it'd be just really a shame to turn away so many volunteers <laughs> that want to yeah, do something really. really good for the environment, mm -hmm. and that later on can return and volunteer with us or just see the fruits of their labor. It really needs it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Does anybody have any objections to that? No. Actually, Seth yeah. came up with the problem. I mean, with the with the idea himself. The suggestion, yeah. Because we were we were kind of oh. discussing it, yeah. and we we're like, I don't think there's any site in Prospect Heights that we could accommodate that many people. I don't believe so. And then Seth came, thought, well, what about this? We've been having this problem there at the Sedge Meadow. What about that? That so. This was, I think, we just discussed it last week. So we wanted to bring it up at this meeting, mm -hmm. and see what you all thought. It's a great idea. Okay, then the Sierra Club also asked us to give a um, presentation to them in March um, about native plants and um, provide them with seed packets that they could use to allure people to come to the to um, come to that. But it's to like that talk. Twenty small seed packets mm -hmm. of the leftovers that we have. <clears throat> so um, they're looking for information about native plants, why native plants, all the usual information. 
and then talk uh, specifically about the species that are, would be in the seed packs. Um, Agnes would probably do the bulk of that, so. Any objections to that? No. Do you know no. when that's, oh, you said just, just March. Just sometime in March okay. at this point, so. Okay. Okay. Um, Nature Speaks, I think we already discussed that. That was our presentation. No, Dr. Right. Sierra Club, we discussed that. Presentation to City and Park District. Um, Peter, when, when uh, are, there, are there dates for January for uh, City Council we could get on the agenda? For January? Yeah. Or whenever. Well, well we just had the first meeting. Oh. Uh, next meeting is the 22nd. 22nd. Would that be too early? No, that's fine. Could we get on the agenda for that, please? Uh, yeah, please uh, email me and Okay. And what are you presenting on? Just giving an update on us? Yeah, well, it's been a while since we presented to the city council and it would be really nice to just let them know what we're doing and, and I, I, just the update. Yeah, yeah, update everything. Mm -hmm. And what about the park district? Same Their meeting Same is thing. January 23rd. We'll arrange a date with uh, Christine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It'll probably be later than that, right? We're not gonna mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same presentation. Same. Very similar presentation. Yeah. Yes, probably the same presentation. <laughs> um, it's about a third done at this point, so we're in good shape. Okay. Everybody okay with that? Okay, new business. Any None. announcements to the public? Anybody? No. No. <clears throat> Be careful and safe over the next oh, absolutely. couple of days with mm -hmm. the yeah. blizzard and the storms, snowstorm that's coming. I just hope we don't lose power. I keep yeah. talking yep. about that possibility. Yeah. Right. So. Well, no visitor comments. No visitors. So. Okay, I make the motion we adjourn. All in, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everybody.